Mogul Motivation, empowering and inspiring entrepreneurs and dream chasers worldwide, one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media, and I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to go forward and accomplish that dream. This is episode 406, and this week's episode is titled The Money Issue Volume 2. Now, I released an episode way back in 2017 titled The Money Issue and it's, um, you know, it's very surreal and comforting to look at my growth as a podcaster over these past seven years. I mean, you don't get to 400 plus episodes um, just by chance. You know, it takes a lot of commitment and dedication and I'm proud of myself. Um, but I look at the growth of myself as a podcaster, the way I speak, the way I get my message across, things like that. Speaking has always been one of my gifts, but nonetheless, you get better and better the more you do it. And this episode, the money issue that I did in 2017, the message that I put out on that episode was authentic. I still believe in that message to this day, but I feel like it could be cleaned up. I feel like it could be more concise and I feel like I can be more direct and I can articulate my thoughts a lot better in 2023 than I could in 2017. So that's why this week's episode is titled The Money Issue Volume 2 because money is always an elephant in the room. You know, we live in a world that's run by capitalism and capitalism if I'm just going to be real, is evil. Um, at the end of the day, everything requires labor. This podcast, seven years of podcasting is labor. Um, I'm a professional photographer. That's labor. I have another podcast, Sociology, which you should subscribe to on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more. That's also labor. Everything we do, whether it's passion or whether it's work, is going to, is going to be labor. I'm working on my third novel. That's labor. So even if you love it, even if you're passionate about it, understand this, it's labor. Everything we do is labor. We're not working in the field, but it's still labor. You still are laboring your mind. You still are laboring your body, your skills, your talents. And the reality is we all have to labor because we need money to survive in this world. I don't care what nobody say. I truly believe if money was not an object, none of us would be working. None of us would go to our nine to five. None of us would be doing the things that we do with the amount of intensity that we do. We do it because we need money. Money runs this world and understand this capitalism is evil at the root of it because the way capitalism works is is always going to be somebody at the top benefiting off somebody from the bottom and i know that's hard for you to accept as an entrepreneur i know it's hard for you to accept as someone that's trying to rise up the ranks in your career but we have to call a spade a spade there are ways that you can make money as morally right as possible, which is what I try to strive to do in my life and which is what I try to encourage others to do in their lives and in their careers and their businesses. But we have to understand that capitalism does have a lot of evil things about it. And the money issue is a very large elephant in the room because we want to be rich. We want nice things, but at the same time, we don't want to see nobody else go without. At least that's how I see it. At least that's what I believe. And a lot of people in my circle, that's how they think as well. We don't want to see nobody else live out. I missed out. I live in Chicago, Illinois. And right now, a couple blocks away from my home, there are those who are homeless. There are those who are food insecure, but let's just be real. There are those who have no food. There are those who are hungry. There are those who are battling drug abuse, alcohol abuse, just a few blocks away from my home right now as I speak to you on this podcast. The money issue is a huge elephant in the room. Now, with that being said, we deserve money. Money is simply a tool to do what we have to do. Health insurance costs money. So therefore we need money to have health insurance, right? Dental insurance costs money. So therefore we need money to have dental insurance. Housing unfortunately costs money. So we need money to pay our bills, to pay our mortgage, to pay our utilities. We need money to pay our car insurance. We need money to purchase a car. We need money to do all these things. We need money to experience certain things in this world. So unfortunately we need to get that money. And because we need to get that money, you have to understand that you deserve this money, ladies and gentlemen. The love of money is the root of all evil. That's the scripture. That's how it's written in the Bible. But so many people misquote it and say money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. And because the love of money is the root of all evil, it simply means you are replacing God with money. Money becomes your God. Money becomes your idol. And therefore, God is no longer your God. You are worshiping money and you are doing anything for money. Everything has a price tag to you and you would do anything to get money. You would do anything to hoard that money. That is evil. 
But accumulating money is not evil. Getting money is not evil because you are getting money with a purpose. You are getting money with a mission to benefit yourself, your family, your community, and those around you. That is why you are getting money. So because you need money, stop making yourself feel guilty so you can get money. As an entrepreneur, as a dream chaser, as someone who is working in your career, who has skills, who has talent, who has the experience, you deserve that paycheck. You deserve the cash in. Let me tell you something. I sent an email to a client not too long ago. Me and this client had already discussed the price. We already discussed the price via phone and here I am drafting up the email and a service agreement contract and I'm sending it over and I still had anxiety. Why did I have anxiety? Because subconsciously I still felt that I was not worthy of this price. I was not worthy of telling them this is how much you got to pay me to perform this service. I was still subconsciously telling myself that I was not worthy because I grew up in poverty. I grew up around people in poverty. I grew up always having to scratch and get pennies to get the bare minimum. I grew up like that in my childhood, my teenage years, in college, after college. This is the reality that I was raised in. This is the reality that I've been living for majority of my 35 years on this earth. So because of that, I'm still telling myself sometimes subconsciously and faintly that I'm not worthy of getting a five figure check. I'm not worthy of getting this money. I have to break down those walls. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to break down those walls, whatever it is you're doing in your business, whatever your prices are, understand your worth. Understand this. Let me correct myself right there. You are not worth any amount of money. Okay, there is no amount of money on this earth that you are worth and that is going to be labeled to you. But understand when you perform a certain service, when you're performing, when you're providing a certain product, that that money that you are charging for that is worthy. You are worthy of that. It is valid and stop second guessing yourself. Tear down those poverty walls that's been built up in your mind ever since you was a child telling yourself that you are greedy if you charge this. You don't need that amount of money. Yes, you do need that amount of money because you need it. You deserve that amount of money. You deserve to have certain experiences on this earth while you are here on this earth. You deserve to live as comfortable as possible on this earth. You deserve to make it happen for somebody else who can't make it happen for themselves, who don't understand right now how worthy they are. They still got those walls built up in a mind. You deserve to help them break down those walls and show them experiences and provide them services and experiences and things in their life that they cannot otherwise provide for themselves right now in this moment. So that could be your parents, that could be your children, that could be your family, it could be somebody in your community. You deserve to get all the money that you desire because you are not making money your idol. You do not love money. Money is simply a tool to do what you got to do in this life and accomplish the goals that you need to accomplish. That's it. That's all. Because understand something, we all gonna die. I'm gonna die, you gonna die. I'm not trying to be morbid, I'm just being real. We all gonna die, we not gonna be on earth forever. So therefore you can't take this money with you. So there's no point of hoarding the money. There's no point at being stingy with the money. Get the money while you are here. Enjoy what that money provides for you. Accept what that money provides for you and give it to somebody else. Show somebody else how to make that money. Don't have to, you don't gotta charge them obscene amounts of money to show them how you got the money. I know we live in a world where courses is a thing. I'm not knocking nobody that provides courses, but what I am saying, sometimes it don't hurt to give somebody something for free that you had to labor to get in the first place. Sometimes it don't hurt to make it a little easier for somebody after you. It don't hurt to do that. And sometimes it don't hurt to put money in their pocket. There's somebody right now in Chicago on the south side or the west side where $100 would change their life. There's somebody where $20 would change their life because they can't afford groceries at the store. Money is an issue in all of our lives to some degree. So if you can help somebody, help them. But you can't help nobody else unless you're getting the money for yourself first and foremost. So whatever price you charge for your service, for your product, stand by it and understand you are worthy and do not waver on that. Do not allow that anxiety to sneak, to sneak in your mind and tell you you are not worthy. Do not allow those poverty walls to rebuild themselves and tell yourself that no, nah, no, nah, this is too much. You are worthy. And the price is constantly going up. It's going to go up tomorrow. It's going to go up next week, next month, next year. The price is always going up. You deserve to be wealthy. You deserve to have all these things that you want in your life. But understand it's fleeting and you cannot take it with you when you die. So do not hoard it. Do not be greedy with information. Do not be greedy with your assets or your resources. Pass it on to somebody else that can benefit from it as well. So that's my podcast this week, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. The money issue is a very big issue, but it's very important that we look at it from a different perspective. You deserve money. You need money. 
And when you get that money, it's just going to be a tool to live the life that you want and you deserve and to help somebody else and bless them in the process. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, leave a five star review. And number two, pass it on to somebody else who may benefit from this well. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you next week and get that money.